Assalamu alaikum and good morning. I am your science teacher Aruj Ghaffar and today we are going to start unit number 4, the life cycle of animals. At the end of this lecture, you will be able to understand the concept of life cycle and learn about the life cycles of frog, fish, insects and birds. First of all, we must know what is a cycle. A cycle is something that happens over and over again. With time, all living things become old and then they die. But they can make copies of themselves by having young ones. What is a life cycle? Life cycle of an animal is all the stages in its life. It also shows how an animal makes copies of itself by having babies. As we know that the life never ends. The older ones die and then the younger ones take their place. This is how the cycle of life continues. So first of all, we have the life cycle of a frog. Starting from the arrowhead, these are the frog's eggs which are also called spawns. The tadpole which is a baby frog grows inside the egg. And when the eggs hatch, the tadpole comes out of the egg and it begins to swim in water. As you can see, First the back legs grow and then the tadpole's jaw and the front legs grow. Till this point the baby frog still has its tail. In the last step the tail disappears, the tadpole becomes a frog. The frog then comes out of the water and starts living its life. This adult frog then lays eggs and the life cycle of the frog continues. Next we have the life cycle of a fish. Fish lay eggs in water and the babies which come out of eggs are called fry. These baby fish or fry then grow into the adult which then lays eggs. So the first stage of the life cycle of fish is eggs, the second one is fry and the third one is adult fish. This is how the life cycle of a fish continues. On third, we have the life cycle of a butterfly. As we all know that butterfly is an insect and the, so all the insects have the life cycle similar to that of the butterfly. The first stage is eggs. Butterfly lay their eggs on the leaf. The eggs hatch and the caterpillar or the larva come out of it. This is then grown into the chrysalis or pupa. Chrysalis or as it is called pupa then grows into an adult butterfly that lives its life on the flowers. The adult butterfly then lays eggs on the leaf and the life cycle of the butterfly continues like this. On the last we have the life cycle of birds. Here we take the examples of an adult chicken or hen. It lays egg and when the eggs hatch a chick comes out of it. This chick then grows into an adult chicken or the hen. And this is how simple the life cycle of the birds is. As we know, after building a nest, a bird lays eggs in them and most birds lay two or three eggs. These eggs have to be kept warm so one of the birds sit on them. Soon the baby birds hatch and usually the baby birds are blind and bald. They do not have any feathers. They have to be fed by the adult birds. When the baby birds have grown feathers and are strong enough to fly, they leave the nest and so the life cycle of the birds continue like this. Now what you have to do is to find out the duration of life cycles of frog, butterfly and chicken. Also draw the life cycle of fish and butterfly and label the stages. Send me your assignments at this email ID. If you have any type of questions, you can always contact me at this email ID. This was all about today's lecture. Till next time, Allah Hafiz.